All right, good news and bad news. The good news is, we're way up north. Bad news is, we came in on, uh, we parked on the wrong little uh, four by four road. And then instead of doing our our, uh, our hike scout, we ended up unpacking because I was, was almost certain. Excuse me. I was almost certain that we were in the right spot, but we weren't. And, uh, so we're gonna go pack up the truck and get over to the next spot. Okay, so we're not making much of a video today because this is day one. Um, we had a really hard setup, but uh, we finally got it. We finally got everything set up. It was everything was on frozen ground, so it was hard to get the tents up. And we kind of messed up getting our firewood for the night. At first, we started chopping down like uh, some spruce and such. They were dead, but they weren't burning very well. So we found some fallen uh, birch. And now uh, here, take a look. That's gonna be our, that's gonna be our warmth for tonight. But uh, first we're gonna drink with some more beer and uh, make a couple sausages. We'll have, it, have an easy dinner tonight. And then um, we'll get to some fishing in the morning. His bud is going away on the wood. sitting by the fire I'm having a couple pops I don't even have any anything in my tent set up yet I still got to set up my cot still got to set up everything my bed my cot I got to get my stove going but uh what me and bud did to make our uh our our stoves going quick is uh all we did was take a scoop of coals from the fire put them into the into our um wood stoves carried it into the tent throw some logs in and boom um, the fire started right away so I still got to do that in my tent uh, there's Buzz tent over there he's got the Lux I got the uh, Atok hang it I've had that for a few years he just got that one that's a new one it's a nice tent it's got lots of room in it everything's nice and tight uh, the stole position in his tents in my opinion a little bit better than mine mine's in the center so you got to kind of position everything around it. Um, Bud still was more positioned at the uh, toward the side, so he's got a little bit more room in front of him. Instead of having the room around him, all his rooms in front of him, and I think that's a little bit better. So I'm just trying to soak it in. I'm gonna let this burn down a little bit, and then I'm gonna finally uh, get everything set up and try to get some sleep. And we'll go fishing tomorrow, so cheers. Okay, I'm eating one more time. As soon as I'm done eating this hot dog, then I'm going to get my tent ready, finally. Look at the way this thing is cooking, though. <laughs> Look at it, it's sizzling. I got it on a stick. Give it like another 30 seconds. I'm going to throw it on a bun. And then I'm going to eat it. And then I'll get my tent ready. And I got to get some sleep, guys. Because I'm really, really tired. No way. Okay. Hey, guys. Something really, really bad happened to me today. Okay, so this cot. It's like supposed to be top of the line caught. I've had it for a few years. I never had a problem with it ever. It's got four pieces like this. It's one o'clock in the morning. I'm half in the bag. 
I go to set up my bed. Finally, I should have did this way long ago. But I go to set up my bed. I'm missing. I'm missing the piece to connect these two pipes. I don't have it to make my cot. So, instead of getting pissed off, well, I, okay, I'll admit it. I'm a, I'm a little bit pissed off. But instead of letting it beat me, um, I'm not a dumb person. So, what I'm going to do to to fix this problem until either I find it, find the piece tomorrow, the proper piece tomorrow. And if I don't, I'll just make it work for the, for the rest of my trip. So I need to find a piece that's going to connect these two pieces of pipe together. So I got my headlight, I got my saw, I got my axe. What I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go find myself a nice tree branch, straight piece, hardwood. I'm going to carve it so that it fits inside these two holes. And I'm going to make it fit so that I can put these two pieces together. And then, after that, I got my stove set up, and uh, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm still going fishing tomorrow. So, anyways, I'll go get that set up. Hopefully, it works out for me, guys. Honestly, like I'm a long way from home for this to not work. Like I should have. You, you always learn a lesson from every single camp trip you go on. You learn a lesson. So the first lesson I learned today was um, on my the whole ride here, I kept telling my friend Bud, Bud, let's stop at a hardware store, let's buy ten inch uh, nails, like the you know the galvanized nail spikes, because I don't think tent spikes are gonna work very well here, right? And it turned out I was I was right. We needed those spikes. We didn't get them. Um, this is actually a bigger problem. I needed that piece of metal that goes in between these two posts. I, I actually really needed that. You can't sleep on the ground when you're camping in the wintertime. I'm not sleeping on top of ice and snow. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I, I figure out a way to make that, make make this work so I can fix these two pieces. I need an inch. I knew I should have done this way, 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 way earlier. So I'm just going to take a piece of stick like this and I'm going to shave it down so that it fits inside like that. So this side fits already like this. So what I'll do is I'm going to shave the rest of this down so that I can fit it in the other side. And then I should be good. I should be able to join the two pieces together. I should actually like wedge that in good. Like that, and then if I shave that down thin enough, I'll be able to join the two pieces together. It's a pretty good idea, you gotta admit. It's not a bad idea for improvising. Oh, it's not something I wanted to do at one o'clock in the morning, but whatever. Bud's gonna laugh. He's sleeping. My friend's been sleeping for a long time. Um, I kept, I'm a, I've been procrastinating because I've been letting this trip soak in. And um, when he sees this, he's, he's, oh, there's a knot. I picked a piece with a knot in it. But when he sees this, he's going to get a kick out of it. But you know what? That's going to work. I guarantee you that's going to work. Because I'm going to make it work. I'm not ruining it. I don't ever ruin my trip or nothing. All you got to do is kind of calm down and think about the situation you're in. And then you just got to try to wait, try to figure out a way to fix it. And I think what I'm doing here is going to fix it. And there you go. Boom. 